Well, hey, players. It has been uh, a wild ride for the last uh, six days. I have uh, been up for most of the last 142 hours because we started at midnight between Sunday and Monday, and it is 10 o'clock now on a Saturday night, and the store will be open for another two hours today uh, before we close. Now, that's not a permanent close, despite what some uh, trolls may be wishing. It is uh, just a reflection of our new hours of operation, because we have come through this week much as, dare I say, a butterfly comes through the transformation that occurs in the cocoon. So, first off, now, thanks to all of you who have been following, been participating, who have come in from those ridiculous hours and played games, either with me or with each other, and just made this truly a community store where people care, people play, and you see just how much um, love there is around here for mankind, for people. I mean, it sounds very hippie of me, but there's a great spirit here at Roll for Damage. Um, that comes when you play. So many people have said, you know, that they feel bad about just coming and playing and not, you know, buying and shopping and spending a lot. And I keep telling them, I've always said since we opened, I mean, if you're just in here playing a game, that's what it's all about. That is what creates the great atmosphere here at Roll for Damage. So if you just come in, sit down, and have a good time, that is one of the most important things that you can do. So I strongly encourage you, even if you're not ready to go shopping for anything, stay to play. That, that's half of our logo. Half, it's half of our, uh, our slogan. It's stop to shop, stay to play. So I would like to say that over the last 144, well, 142 hours, it'll be 144 by the time we close tonight, uh, we have learned a lot here at Roll for Damage. So the first big announcement is that we will have new store hours. We are um, cutting back our hours a little bit, and people say, oh, you know, you know that's not a good thing. But no, it really is. We've been open 12 hours a day, six days a week, for the last four months. So that is now, we're going to scale that back to uh, 10 hours a day during the week. But it's going to be consistent. And Monday through Friday, 2 to 12. 2 to midnight is, are going to be our new hours. So come in in the afternoon, stay late at night. So many people have come in at these really late hours and said that they haven't been able to come in for the last four months because they work you know, maybe some odd hours, and they work up until 10 o'clock or until 11. So this way, um, many people that we have met in the last week will have a place to play. Um, honestly, not that many people come in in the morning, and yes, I get a lot done for myself and some other projects I'm working on, but it's not about me. This is not a store I made for me. This is a store I made for you guys. So first announcement, new hours, Monday through Saturday, sorry, Monday through Friday, uh, 2 to 12, and Saturday, a full day from opening 10 a.m. to... Uh, 12 midnight. So that's one. Uh, the second is we are going to have a variety of new organized play events here at Wolf for Damage. We have, dare I say, one of the best Star Wars X-Wing inventories in the area, uh, but I have not yet kicked off any organized play. That is going to change. So I'm talking to several community organi uh, or event organizers, and uh, we are going to have some great events here with excellent price support for Fantasy Flight and ourselves, and we're, you're going to have a lot of fun if you like to play Star Wars X-Wing. So continue to come in, shop, use your Roll for Damage discount, get the best mer merchandise at the best prices, and then stay to play. So more to come on that very soon. Um, but also, um, Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, we're going to have some new formats and some new events coming up on that. Um, we're going to continue to build up the support and play for the Walking Dead All Out War miniature warfare game, which is a great starter game if you've never been into miniature warfare. I don't play Warhammer, I don't play 40K, but I actually have started to play Walking Dead um, because it's a simplified skirmish game. So if you've never really been into, you know, big hour or, um, you know, big warfare games, this is a nice one because you only use two, maybe three models at a time. Um, and again, it's, it's simplified rules, so it's easy to get into. But then for experienced players, you can get as elaborate as you want. So there are, are advanced rules you can apply. Um, but also for different tabletop games, we have... Uh, plans for organized play for uh, Munchkin, for uh, Boss Monster, for uh, Oceanos, which is a new one I've just discovered. That's actually going to be uh, a really excellent one for uh, organized play and, and others. So stay tuned, stay involved. Now this does mean, of course, we're going to expand our uh, supply of tables and terrain, so watch for that to build up. Um, 
we have had many tables here this entire time. Many of you know we have excellent tables, excellent chairs, um, but what we're talking about are tabletops to attach to those instead of just sliding a couple tables together, which is an excellent way of doing things, um, we're going to do it even better. So in the next couple of weeks, give me a couple of weeks to uh, get all sawdusty and built up uh, that way. So we're going to have new tables, new terrain, and we'll be ready for some very large tournaments for very small figures. Uh, birthday parties. We've, uh, we've had exactly two birthday parties and they've both gone very well, dare I say. So if you're considering um, having a party or an event for people of any age, by the way, because who doesn't like to play games? Communists, I guess. You can come in here. You can reserve uh, our back room. We have a semi-private room here in the back. And for a $100 deposit, um, you get the, the room for two hours. We provide a selection of age-appropriate games or games by request. Uh, we'll set them up. We'll teach your guests how to play. And then we'll check in on you every here and there to make sure you guys are having a good time. So a typical party might go that... You and your guests arrive, um, you sit down, play some games, and then you take a break after about an hour, do cake, pizza, um, presents, whatever your birthday party may entail, and then for the last half hour or so, go back to playing games until, you know, if it's for kids, until the parents come back to pick everybody up, or um, you, know, you and your friends just sit in place. So if you want to have a Magic the Gathering tournament for your birthday party, we can do that. If you want to have a Dungeons & Dragons type event for your birthday party, we can do that. Um, so two hours, hundred dollars. Then you get as, as long as nothing, you know, no soda spilled on the games or anything. That's really a deposit. You get half of it back. So in the end, it'll only cost you fifty bucks. The rest of the food, the drink, the pizza, whatever you're, you're having for your party, that's on you. Um, so as long as it's non-alcoholic, you can bring in just about anything, and uh, you can have your own personal birthday party here at Roll for Damage. So I hope you will give me a call, reserve some of those because it's been a lot of fun. Um, events, other events, so birthday parties, but also events by request. So if you and your friends play a particular game that you don't find a lot of support for, we want to support you. We at Roll for Damage want to help you out. So if you want to have a tournament for your favorite, you know, organized or favorite type of game, be it um, Settlers of Catan, or if you play a card game that not a lot of people play, let me know. I will prevent it, and I'll, I'll prevent it. I will support it and present it to the world, uh, to the community, and uh, try to uh, get that together. But if you want to have a very popular format, like you know, Kill Team or something else, that is also being popularly run at some other places, well, as long as you can you know, get the sign-up, we'll, we'll put a sign-up, and once we have the commitment from the players, I will gladly put that together um, with as generous prize support as you're willing to support players. Um, so, events by request, I'm glad to accommodate. Our merchandise selection. Uh, Tie this in with our uh, the fundraising effort we've had. Uh, many people have speculated that we are on the verge of closing our doors. Not the case. As I've always said, we are trying to cover our startup costs. Um, our sales in the last four months have grown very quickly. Um, our growth has been phenomenal, which of course we couldn't do without you, uh, community. But it's grown to the point where we covered our expenses, but not necessarily our debts as far as getting out of debt in a in a quick, timely way. Now, the debt is what's slowing us down. Um, we needed $75 to open the store and have that cash cushion to get us through those first lean six months or so while we build up store operations. And that's, you know, anybody who's opened a business or, you know, gone in a major, major venture knows you need to have that cushion. Um, well, we didn't. So we haven't had uh, the cash reserves to, you know, pay off some, you know, lean months and such. So those have been kind of creeping up on us. We are making our, our payments. We're, we're not, nobody's pounding down our door threatening to call, you know, collections on us. But for us to grow quickly and provide the services that you players deserve and want and need, um, that's what we were looking for. So um, thanks to our first investor and thanks for the dozens of you who have donated uh, very generously um, on various scales of generosity to our cause and to our store. So we will leave that donation page up for another week, maybe two weeks, because many of you have also messaged me privately saying that you wish to donate, but you need to wait for next paycheck or for your tax you know, return. So I'm certainly not going to shut the door on that. So we'll leave that up and running. I'll change the message on it a bit. I'll give an update. And uh, if you wish to become an investment partner, let me say this. Um, the terms are that the investment is $5,000. And for that, you get a return on that on a monthly basis for the next three to five years. So the details, uh, give me in a, uh, I will give you in a private message if you message me. So, but again, if you're if you actually are in a position to make that donation, uh, not donation, investment, 
and seriously want to consider the rest of the details, please message me. Um, so serious inquiries only. Um, but I have space for three, maybe four more in, in our uh, roster of investors going down my list. Um, we are going to continue to be a strong leader in our community. Uh, next Saturday, we uh, have invited the Boy Scouts, the local council of Boy Scouts, to uh, come in and learn to play magic, uh, completely free to them. So I've already contacted Wizards of the Coast. They've already sent the the trainer decks, the uh, the welcome pack decks, and uh, we've got the DCR cards ready. So we are ready to get 50 Boy Scouts into the joy of Magic the Gathering because it is a great game if you're camping frequently or you, you're out of the house a lot because the entire game fits in a 60-card pack. And I've been to so many camps where... You know the the camp counselors and the leaders and such. When they have downtime, they pull out their decks and they 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 do it. They got standard and other formats and such. So it works out really really well. So we're going to give that gift to the local Boy Scout council. We're going to bring them in, teach them how to play, and and get these boys going along. Because also that same night we have a major tournament sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, the Ether Revolt um, Game Day. So we got special special cards for that. So many of these boys hopefully will be able to come back that night and uh, start in on their first tournament, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Also, we are in communications with the city of Grovetown and the folks on Fort Gordon about uh, being partners in various events they have going on because one of our founding values from day one has been corporate citizenship, being involved in our community, giving back in many different ways. You've seen on our, our GoFundMe page uh, some of the ways that we have been involved with the local police department or just members of the community who didn't have a place to go for Thanksgiving and other causes, you know, the local schools with our box stops for education, and we're going to keep that going uh, because that's just who we are. And if you want to support a game store that does that, uh, well, we're the ones, um, you know, kind of to talk, toot our own horn here. Um, but ask yourself, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm fiercely loyal to this store, or this is the way I've always gone, but what do they do for you and what do they do for the community? If the answer is nothing and that's the deal breaker, well, we would love to have you here. But honestly, if you are happy where you're playing games, keep playing there. I opened the store in order to provide choices and alternatives to um, what has currently been around. Choices to the players and alternatives to the one or two choices they've had. So if you are absolutely happy with where you're playing, keep playing there. I don't want you to be unhappy. Um, because some of the players and some of the other places around here, they would rather you were unhappy than leave their store. Um, I mean, between Slugworths across town, abs you know, affirming that I'm making a lot of the right choices because they tend to copy or mimic a lot of our, our operations or you know Jonestown where if you leave you're not allowed to come back kind of pressure um, from the other players there um, that's not what we're about as long it's it's all about fun and games and if you're doing anything beyond that you're missing the point so keep it happy keep it fun and if you want play it here um, and that is about what we've got. So we've got new hours of operation. So starting Monday, we'll open at 2 o'clock. We'll be open until midnight every night of the week. Well, well, Monday through Saturday. We're still closed on Sundays. And uh, Saturday, we'll open at 10 a.m. So still easy to predict. So you don't have to you know, look at the star charts to figure out, okay, well, they close at 6 on this day, but then they only open at 2 on that day. No. Monday through Saturday, 2 to 12. And then Saturday, 10 to 12, 10 to midnight. And we'll have all kinds of fun there. New events are coming up, so watch our Facebook feed. Watch meetup.com. Watch our store calendar on our website. Um, we, we put out there everything we're doing. There's really no reason to not know. Um, and also, we've uh, dusted off our Twitter account, so if you want to follow us on Twitter, uh, we're um, Roll for Damage Shop, uh, or use the hashtag RFD Shop. We've uh, registered that one as well. Um, and look for X Wing. So if you're new to X Wing, come in, grab a core set, grab some models, and start casual play so you get ready for your first tournament. But even then, tournaments are a great way to get really good really fast. Uh, look for some new formats and I encourage you paint your models. For the most part I'm not going to require that when we have miniature warfare that your models are painted but you will get extra incentive. Um, maybe special promos or special rewards for the tournament if your stuff is painted and painted well. Um, because for those who put forth all the time and the effort they really appreciate when you put forth the time and the effort as well. But don't let that stop you. Hey, we appreciate you coming to play, and the more players, the better. Um, so look for the events. Look for um, the new games that are coming up. We're also going to be part of a uh, major uh, tournament, a national-level uh, board game tournament. Um, but I'm not going to go into too many details because, again, we've got uh, a cult on one side of town and Slugbirth uh, stealing Wonka's ideas on the other side of town. And uh, 
I want to make sure that I can bring these out in, in the timely fashion that we need. And uh, if you're considering uh, birthday parties uh, outside of the house or special events um, for your office or for your school or your church group or something, we can easily fit about 50 people in here. The back room, you know, about 30, 35. So we can take a good small level party, small level event, and uh, take care of you there. If you want to have tournaments or other events organized, let me know. I'll do a lot of the legwork on there. Uh, our community uh, involvement is still very high. So also if you're like a game developer or if you say, hey, could we bring this in and demo it to people? Chances are I will probably support that. Uh, so just talk to me and we'll figure that out. We've got new merchandise that we're going to start rolling out thanks to the help of our investors, uh, you donors and, in part and partners. So stuff that you won't be able to find uh, around here much, but it's still in high demand. A lot of people are shopping online or placing special orders. We're going to start stocking these things. And it's a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, <laughs> reference, Josh. And um, so again, we still have space for just a few more investors. We're going to let the donations uh, continue to come in. Thank you very much for your generosity. And we'll see you Monday at 2, our new operating hours. And uh, thank you again for everything. We'll see you Monday.